Anyone who lost the election is brave and strong and say, yes, that person is a Democrat. But if you think you want to challenge the then you are under democratic So please, my kind of chair, we don't want to hear any kind of chairperson going anywhere to say somebody called him so I can speak and speak. Already, some people have already said that they want to lead this party into new discussion. But we have said that whatever we are from, the coalition government that we are from, in our residence, we hereby endorse it. The thing about political arrangement it is negotiation, it is flexibility. You know, why are you going to negotiate? The president of the Royal Agreement has a seat by, by the constitution, he can decide to appoint anybody, he can decide not to appoint anyone. So, in good faith, the way it will work, the, the president after the election, trust me, I know there will be a new game, there will be a new narrative. And I know before even the election, to there will be some, to some placements. We are already begun the discussion. So, National Patriotic Party. Yeah, I'm going to be yeah, very, very tireless in making sure the that the leadership has gathered I'm going to be yeah, very focused. I'm going to speak the exactly members of the party to speak on uh, just a few days after the you know, controversial like convention. If we're going to Nima County, and Nima County showed the hell of a crowd, and the MPP has as a whole, that speaks language. That speaks volume. We don't want to fight, but we're going to show our strength. And based on our strength, the MP must make a case that though we are tripartite, we are three, but we honor equal. Yeah. We honor equal. And we gotta do it by the show of strength. And based on the show of strength, definitely uh once the president and stand, uh, the president who stands to be re-elected will say yes, I have partner. So this is what they no joke. And we don't want to have a situation where someone will be in the corner talking so. We are ready to get to, 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 to put out our boots, to roll out our sleeves, to move in the jungle. But the message we gave to the Congress or the coalition leadership is that the MPP is no small state to play with. We will give you the number. In return, we expect that you will reciprocate. That's the message. So we're not going to be saying anything to the Congress. We're going to say all those who are very elected. You got my word. I am not going to be one of those chairmen that will just sit in my car and say I have the people. Trust me, if I don't perform in the first 100 days, you don't see action, they say I don't want to be elected. I am not going to do it. With, with, with my federal lieutenants, we are going to put measures in place, but we don't want to release our blueprints. We'll, we'll, we'll unveil it. And you'll see it. And you'll be very excited and you'll be very anxious to work. So again, I want to welcome you. We hope that this meeting will all be calm. We we'll speak our minds. Bargain is bargain. And therefore, I'm going to rest on this note and give to the MC so that the next athlete can do that. Thank you all. So the leader is the chairman of the MPP. I think that is where the party speaking. is going. Based on that statement, all of us will be in this hall to take a serious consideration. We are next to power. Are we prepared to, to dash up? We can't do that. We are next. Look at all of the parties that existed before us. That were thrown out of power. What happened to them? But MPP is very fortunate to be in this position. We are seventh place in the government, so we have to do everything in our power to ensure that we support the coalition government and prepare ourselves for 2029. Uh, and about to do the roll call. But this is a joint uh, session. Because of that, we we'll give everybody the opportunity to introduce yourself. We we'll do seven reductions. It will be simple, no long talking. Just call your name, your position, and the country you're coming from. So I will start with the chairman going that way. I'm Pastor Stella S. Patrin from Lofa County and National Chairman MPP.
only member of the National Faith Party for Operation
Let's go to the next line. Let me hurry up. I'm going to play with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On this side, come on, cut up, you, my friend. You go with it now, let's go. Thank you. I want to dog spell out 40 K Williams, patient number three, point in the Bomi County. Thank you. My name is Daniel Wabinak, you chair of Bomi County. Thank you. It will God be for us who can be against no us. My name is Jeremy John Gawai Bayo Ramaki Jr., Vice Chair for, for, for Metro Affair in Markibi County. Thank you. I am be added to this to the world for the Grand Valley Thank you. My wife, Cynthia Jana, we were Thank you. Thank you.
So introduction is done with lots of people calling their names and their positions. This is Phone TV We're coming to you live from the National Patriotic Party headquarters where the new leadership is having a gathering with uh, officials of the party. I want to take this special time to say thank you. I'm very rejuvenated to see the kind of policy we have in this world today. So I see the real faces of MPP in this house. <laughs> I'm very glad, I'm happy, I'm prepared to work for this party. Yes. Yes. You know, let me tell you, he insisted on the six hundred and thirty-eight delegates because he wanted to see the real party of this party to come forward. Yes. yes. How can you create two parties for a whole country to an election? It is just impossible. You know what? I'm very happy to see all of you. And I'm still very as well. Very, very happy to see all of you. I've worked on the stress and spin to make sure to accommodate the six hundred and ten years. However, since the SB the SB has not arrived, we have to do some changes. We've got to skip the turning over of Gabo and the special statement of this can arrive. We will go to seven number seven here and put one sheet in your hand. The, the result of the convention. As you all know, we had a very successful uh, seventh annual convention of the party on the seventh on the seventh of October. Oh, say, and in that convention, the delegates. The 638 delegates of the convention decided to do what we call block voting. Instead of maybe having a what about secret ballot or whatsoever, the people have already developed that, they, they believe that they all know who to vote for. <coughs> so they decided on block voting. And based on that block voting, all of the county chairpersons they, they were protected under the process. The national election, I mean the national executive committee as well, they were all, those who came in, those who wanted to be, they were all protected under the process. So that means, when I say under the process, that means the delegates from their counties decide to carry them. Because the list of people who are interested in the party was sent to all of the counties. So it was not done in a way that it was in a secret. The list was sent to all of the countries. And the county chairperson themselves, the delegate from the county themselves, decided to elect their own leaders. So this is 
That is why we are here today. So I'm very happy to take this time to announce to you the result of the election. That means those who were elected one of the job voting on the date. We will start with the, uh, the standard barrel. Okay, we will start with the standard bearer of our party. The standard bearer racially way for right to election day to prepare to give the election law. And we all of us decided to endorse or as standard bearer of this party as a political leader. Oh! So she was elected for another six years. We have the national chairman of the party, Councillor Stanley Parkley. <laughs> national vice chair for administration, President Mark Kishen. <laughs> national vice chair for mobilization, President Henry Clark. <laughs> National Vice Chair for Planning Policy and Research, Vice Roland Blue. <laughs> National Vice Chair for Finance and Investment, Vice Thomas J. Plato Senior. <laughs> National Vice Chair for Interparty Affairs. Paris is seeing a letter to her. The story is. National Vice Chair for Social Services. Paris is Amanda Wadane. National Vice Chair for General Affairs. Paris is Joe Sylvia Taylor. National Vice Chair for Governmental Affairs, Partisan Esther Walker. <laughs> National Vice Chair for International Affairs, Partisan Gerasa A. Daniels. <laughs> National Vice Chair for Special, special pro uh, Project, Partisan Paul Wissett. Uh, the Secretary General for Press and Propaganda, 
Palaisir Gos Loden. <laughs> Chairman, National Patriotic Association of Liberia and Nepal, Mohamed Benetti.
Fulano Yao. Chairman, Maburu Kandi, Isaac Jacob. Chairman, Magimi County, Parisi, Emmanuel Paul. Chairman, Maryland County, Parisi, Anthony Buru Lampo. Chairman, Paul County, Parisi, Rafa El Siafa. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to submit this list to the chairman. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Colonel Parisi, we have come to business because you know, your decision is in the press is very full. So we we'll give each county chair president to speak for at least two minutes. Not to prolong this, to speak to your decision. While you have got to say, the press is here. Your decision on Friday, meaning your delegates, inform us, inform the world as to your state. And may we just start with. Okay, before you before you speak, you know, we have the election committee. As you very well know, our constitution provides that at convention, every county chair will nominate a member to the election committee, making it 15 members, and the four auxiliary will nominate one person each, making it 19 members. Then they will send and elect their chairman. And that happened to be Honorable Emmanuel Lomax. So we would like him to just give uh, a gist of what happened, how the process was from there, the county to the country. As we speak, give me the MVP head to upstairs. I uh, distinguish yeah. some partisans from the Bedouin of the Republic of Liberia. It may impress you to note that uh, consistent with your executive committee of party decision and that of the mandate from the civil law court as uh, upheld by the Supreme Court, the National Patriotic Party was mandated to hold a convention in 45 days. The National Executive Committee of the party, where those are everyone converged, and decided to respect the decision of the court. We met in Tata, the Maserati County office, and took a unanimous decision for the Baana Convention of the Party to be held on the 7th Eastern, which was this current right. I am seizing this opportunity to give this clarification in line with the Constitution and best practices in political party democracy, so that people don't go running for misinformation. I heard for the last 72 hours, a lot of people say that you got two sides that conducted convention and it was struggling with legitimacy. Why you can't a chairperson probably will speak maybe through a representation because you've already spoken. Uh, if for any reason you want to add onto what exercise I think will be left as the chairman has mandated. But it is my place as chair of the commission to give a few clarification for members of the press and now that real people alive both here and in diaspora. The constitution of the National Patriotic Party is clear on involving an elections commission. Like the lawyers normally say, 
the red decisive. Where they came from? Those days in Greek. And uh, in the lighting world, people had a lot of cases. Some people take five years, 10, 15 years. And then the scholars got together and say, stay away, decide. I'm probably worried about the lawyers. Mm -hmm. Stay away, decide, means stay with this decision. So they borrowed that and said, well, we're going to use this as precedence. And this precedent is going to guide the conduct of our activity. This has resonated through other words. So people use precedence to look at the resolution of cases, of issues, and also identify the issues. Why do I bring this up? The decision and the policy and the practices that is in part is direct decisive has been one that the National Patriotic Party has conducted herself on a social <coughs> campaign from 1991 since this party was constituted. At no point in time, in as much as our constitution calls for a standing committee called the Legislative Commission, at no point in time we have ever had somebody sitting maybe in the shop and appointing his friend and saying you are the chairman of the election Commission. Mm -hmm. That has not happened. We have met as delegates. As you know, in the political party, uh, the constitution of the democracy in political party, the convention is the highest decision making. So the question behind this is that you bring all of the delegates at the convention hall, each county will select one individual on the elections commission. We have four auxiliary of the party. Those four will send one individual each. Every day the mathematics is four plus 15, that's 19. They constitute the elections commission of the party. Amongst the 19, all of them will meet somewhere around the convention hall and elect their chairperson and the leadership. That leadership would not have a responsibility and a duty to conduct a free and fair election in the government. This has been the project. If I'm lying, I'm say that. So, so, for anyone to violate this sacred constitutional provision, it is not only wicked, what it does is to deprive you, county chairperson, of the right. So, for us, there is no space for any undemocratic exercise in the party. So the 638 delegates convert. Why Trump make us for all over the place having talks, breaking glasses and this stuff? Even though I stand up trying to even attack the vice president of this kind of world to stand up. Our people that came from the counties and the rest of the people here that constituted the 638, what did they decide to become? So talks and whole games went all over the place. But one thing they failed to realize, in line with the party's constitution and the mandate from the civil law court, the chairman of the party was allowed, the leadership of the party was allowed to preside over convention. And this is how it works. Chairman Bani, on the morning of the seven, opened the convention to the amazement of all of these people here and those that are not on the side of the court. The convention was officially open. You can all attest to it. Now, there yeah. anybody to deny this. So, meaning that we're in the bailiwick of the law. Yes. When the convention got open, interestingly, I heard somebody say they should conduct a convention and report to the chairman. No, it doesn't work like that. The chairman, interestingly, is a member. He is a, a candidate in the elections. So, meaning that, as a delegate, he forfeits at that point in time his rights and privileges. He became an ordinary delegate. The delegates now are now empowered to go in the little corners. That's exactly what they do. And start to lobby and okay, so. In the process of lobbying, Chairman Barney, who has opened this convention, that was just an ordinary person, decided then to start amassing a whole against and wanted to start supporting him against the details of uh, the, the rule of law. So what most of the delegates did was they decided to go and start their campaign processes. That culminated into finding a site. Since they went and started to bust glasses and carry a lot of things, we did not want to disobey the law. So this group, the area was tear gas by the police to create sanity. They are otherwise suggesting that the vice president and the rest of the candidates go looking the, 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 the provision of her to go and sit in an area that is already tear gas. 
It is absurdity. I would need you to do that. They could not have done it. So the find in the surrounding of the convention, interestingly and, and, and more importantly, people see convention conduct as going in one room. If you have 10 rooms, you might have one, two, three, all the way to 10, you must go in a specific room. It doesn't work like that. Around that area, as long as the convention is open, the most suitable area, you converge there and conduct an exercise. So this group resulted to many other forms of election. Some are by open ballot, so I buy a secret ballot, so I buy lines standing behind one another, the traditional stuff that used to happen. And then the next one is resolution. And I see people that should be lying are arguing with this. What the delegates that did, all of you, you agree to do blah blah blah, to go and meet, culminating part of your exercise. You had a resolution signed, but no duress. I said today, we have understood the issues. We have understood the concerns. So we are proceeding to look at it, to give our reaffirmation to what was signed. The Jewel Howard ticket and Joy We Are ticket should stand for the 2022 election. <laughs> they went further and said that they're going to constitute a team to work along with the constituent party in the coalition, that is the LPDP and the Congress, so that they were sidelined for the last six years. They will now get involved in constructive engagement with the leadership of the coalition so that their members can benefit in terms of job placement and other opportunities. They passed on that also. Then they came back and said, we have identified leaders in the respective counties and on the national level that will move our party forward. At this time, they don't want a chairman who says in the, in, in, in the sense he doesn't answer phone, he, he, he looks at everyone as though they don't exist. Mm -hmm. They wanted a chairman that is, is involved with the people that communicates. So on the basis of that, it was done the chair, they decided to elect a run of officers. And those people were enshrined in the resolution, it was passed, and a motion was taken for the immediate induction. As you know, on the 17th of December, the National Patriotic Party as a constituent party will be joining the other two parties, the Congress and LPDP. Hey. <laughs> joining the Congress and the LPDP on the Senate will have a tsunami to all this country for the affirmation of uh, the We Are a Taylor's ticket. So it means that if that is to be successful, the work must begin now. So those who have the sinister motive to take this party out of here and take it to other coalition or other group, it is not for you. These delegates don't have the energy, they don't have the stomach to temper with this. So they said, we need no time to delay. We are going to pass this resolution and move our party to power. And exactly that's what they did. So fellow politicians, members of the press and police, to inform you that every stage and every element of democracy will follow and this is the result now. Thank you very much. Chairman of the election committee involved on convention ground. Now, we pass the ball over to the party chair. One minute, just a bottle. We start with Maggie. Mm -hmm.
becoming part of his 638 delegate that convened at the 7th Bahia Convention held on October 7th, 2022, resolved and remained resolute that all elected officials from the standard bearer down to the national leadership and the country leadership remain on course that will join our colleagues at the coalition come December 2020.
circumcision. Wow. The law act for any sin except our decision and let the parties proceed for a re-election of President John Manu Weart and Manu Tura Howard Taylor. Thank you.
and they send to the airport. They put chicken soup. The restaurant. Of Liberia. Any political party, my name is Anthony Lafayette Jr. Yeah. Chairman of the county, one of the counties that always produce an MPP senator or representative senator. So, so we'll take yes. 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 And, uh, and, and, and a steam. And I uh, want to say to you that Maryland County acquiesces with every decision I've been taking. Can you imagine a Maryland County chairman? against the Maryland County National Chairman. It has not been easy for this chairman. I am serious and overwhelmed with the decision of the mass majority of the MPP. But in democracy, democracy, the majority, takes the rule. We are the majority. Maryland County stands behind you. Maryland County will support you because Maryland County has a functional chairman. One of the, the single most popular person in America is its chairman MP. Thank you, may God guide this group and we shall win 2023. Thank you. Honorable Chairman of the National Association. Member of the press, uh, on behalf of the 27th delegate of our girl, a Bible country, for the record's sake, I'm pleased to inform you that we give a delegate. We did not come to the election to the vote. But I'm not the 27th delegate, Bible will produce a candidate into the race, which our Honorable George now, to make the election a formidable one. But being wise enough by my delegate to be part of my delegate took a decision to support the document that we signed. We stand by it. You are really lost me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. that uh, signed the resolution of all speaker uh, as we were told on Friday about 13 counties signed this resolution you will know it to have a block voting so let's join the chairman of the National Patriot Party consider my talk as a Every county chair president is going to speak my mind. You are hereby instructed upon your return. Give the names of any three for local government position immediately. <laughs>
official that when they knew the USA began to take action, what's the next step? Then you say, yes, we want to show you, we'll bring everything on the table. We now bring it on the
action that can be taken against those former chairperson, former leaders of the party, and other partisans who aided and abetted their actions by bringing talks, uniform in party, t-shirts, and so forth, carrying harmful gadgets, all right, the interest of our people to vote. Then the appropriate punishment should be taken at this section so that it can serve as a deterrent that the NPP being a former a government or a party of this country will always remain a respectful and disciplined party. Our party, or our motto says, or discipline, discipline, justice, and work. And as such, discipline must be instilled so that we can be able to uphold this in our gallery. I thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. Thank you very much, Duraza. Uh, well, we we have heard because when they are concerned, must concerned to be registered. And because we believe in the due process, and because we believe that you should respect every aspect of democratic tenets, concerning the fact that we have a grievance and ethics committee, this chair, by permission, will take seats of this matter and we instruct the new river and ethic committee that will reflect all 13 counties uh, to be guided to be guided by one member of the executive committee so as to expeditiously conduct a hearing and we are going to call on all partisans who felt injured who saw the talks who inflicted harm to report because they are specifics. One, the one who commits the, the act. Two, the one who aided and abetted. That is, I tell you, go do it. You are under my gout. I saw a post up to everybody. I am post up, but I see you doing it. So those are things we need to have a compile, and uh, the Grievance and Ethics Committee will receive all the issues. And I can show you, we will leave those two on We will give people their due date. We will summon them, the committee will summon them to, to, to explain why they did what they did. And from there, the appropriate recommendation will be forwarded to the NEC for action. Uh, we found much ado, time is fast spent. Uh, I think on this matter, I beg your indulgence, because if we all deliver on the email, like we will be putting the card before the house. So it's better to raise the issue, but we all are aware that this can happen. So uh, I think. Uh, we will now give the instruction, it will be collected in a minute. We are going to have a human ethics committee and we want to ask for each county before leaving, please submit the name of your human ethics committee. Eminent person, because all 15 counties will be represented on the human ethics committee. So that we can start work because there are a lot of issues going to be handled. There will not be a, 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 a two-black bulldog committee. It will be a committee that will have the logistics and be made to work so that we can have deterrence. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay, now, you know, they say, see and believe it, right? All coordinators, all county executives, all national executive committee members, tomorrow, Brian and we assemble in a peaceful manner to the election committee, new commission headquarters, identify county by county, sign of clock, let us know what because we want the door to be open, we will be to the... Process will be available? Yeah, we can work on it, we, yeah, we can work on the position. Yeah, we think so. Mm -hmm. would, you get, would you get people to assemble in a peaceful manner so that by the time they come and open the gate, we are there to submit our document. From there, we fasten in with the civil law court. Because it is a court that mandated this convention. So we on the case file. From there, we wait forward to see who wants to go where. Then we can make a judgment. But this information will back. Let us take a corner. If there is no reason why uh, the general is also getting a minute. Thank you.
So we beg your indulgence to wake up. Because when you, when you do a work, you want it to finish. You don't want to sit down and it was about the people. So the people were assembled in their numbers. All the country, please leave your delegates. Seven touches later, we should be to uh, official working hour in eight. Okay, even when supposed to come in, but at least by eight o'clock, we should be to the door. So, seven to seven thirty, we should all be assembled. Very important because that is a crucial stage of the job. So, so we we make a reference to know uh, the uh, the coordinators, the candidate kind of officials when they are excluded, coordinators, candidate kind of executive. Of course, other people will join with the team. No problem. Those are the specialists. But we we'll make sure that they are there and they will interview themselves. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. Uh, no, that's a point. That's yes. Point. Yes. 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 Uh, tomorrow we are aware that in the morning there will be the press people, and so we are successfully uh, deliberated. Uh, the purpose is that we have all of our documents notarized. What we need to do in the free work of the law has been done. So there are two areas we are doing tomorrow, the National Elections Commission and the court. The other side is saying, why are you folks who say we've had some conversation around here, so probably the press may come around and say, oh, this time I saw. We know that well that the leadership of the party is the one that is going to give this to the election commission and also to the court. All we, 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 we desire of you is simple. Your presence is to give uh, 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 approbation to the fact that this is your decision. So we are going to have people that in the event where the president, we are not there for any other thing. You came to accompany the national leaders to present a piece of document. So I just thought the same about saw all uh, county executives yeah, meeting with the new leaderships and uh, having discussion. My name is Ivan Kuban. This is how we like to end this uh, broadcast here live from the National Patriotic Party headquarters. Thanks. We hope to join you tomorrow from the National Elections Commission headquarters when the, this leadership will present their documentations.